If you're an Andy Griffith Show fan and watch the spinoff, Gomer Powell USMC, you'll be familiar with the town of Mayberry and the area of Camp Henderson and know that all the town of Mayberry and the camp was occupied by some incredible people that had unbelievably different names. There was Gomer, there was Goober, there was Opie, there was Asa, Rafe, Briscoe, Bunny, and B. But the name of Lou Ann Poovey has got to be a classic. This was the girlfriend of Gomer Pyle on Gomer Pyle USMC. The character is played by Elizabeth McRae. Elizabeth grew up in North Carolina, and she was the daughter of a lawyer who became a county superior court judge. She started out in her acting career in October of 1956, eventually making her way to New York to study at the Herbert Berghoff studio, and that would lead to some off-Broadway productions. From there, she went to Los Angeles and made her mark on Hollywood. She played in numerous shows in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, She was in Maverick with James Garner. She was in Dr. Kildare. She was in 77 Sunset Strip. She was in Untouchables, Route 66, Rawhide with Clint Eastwood, The Fugitive with David Jansen, and the list just goes on and on. She was even in I Dream of Jeannie. But one of her major roles was in Gunsmoke. She played Festus's girlfriend in the show. She was in one episode of the Andy Griffith Show, and then her most memorable part of the sitcoms that she played in was in Gomer Pyle USMC, where she played Lou Ann Poovey, Jim Neighbor's girlfriend. She made her debut in the season three episode of Love's Old Sweet Song, and she played a nightclub singer and she would go on to become Gomer's girlfriend. She made the perfect sweetheart for Gomer. Her southern charm and accent kept Gomer from feeling too homesick while he was stationed out in California. Now, Elizabeth was perfectly suited for this part. Not only did she grow up in North Carolina, but she was also raised at Fort Bragg. And having already had experience being the main squeeze, of Festus Hagen on Gunsmoke, it made it a pretty good fit for her to be Gomer's girlfriend. But it almost didn't happen. At the audition for Gomer Pyle, she was trying out for a different role, and she actually hid her Carolina accent. There was a chance encounter at the studio that led to her getting the part. As she was reading for another part, she was desperately trying to hide her southern accent. She was reading lines with the series creator and producer Aaron Rubin when Lee Phillips happened to pass by. Phillips was a Peyton Place actor who happened to direct 60 episodes of The Andy Griffith Show, and he also had North Carolina roots. He popped his head into the office and said, My Lord, there's my sweet southern belle. That remark took Erin Rubin by surprise, as she had been disguising her voice from her natural voice. Rubin then asked her if she could talk in a southern accent, and she said absolutely. He hired her on the spot, and that was the birth of Lou Ann Poovey. It was supposed to be a one-shot deal, but it turned into 15 episodes that she did for Gomer Pyle USMC. It's a very good thing that Phillips stopped by to say hello. Otherwise, Gomer might have been a little lonelier. Elizabeth also went on to appear in four soap operas, including General Hospital. She was on that from 1969 to 1970 and from 1972 to 1973. She was on Days of Our Lives in 1977 and Guiding Light from 1983 to 1984. Then she was also on Search for Tomorrow in 1985. 
She did nine Hollywood films that included For Love or Money in 1963 with Kirk Douglas and The Conversation in 1974, which was an Oscar-nominated motion picture that was directed by Francis Ford Coppola, and it starred Gene Hackman, Robert Duvall, Harrison Ford, and Cindy Williams. Elizabeth absolutely loved working with Jim Neighbors, who played Gomer. She said numerous times that Jim Neighbors was one of the most generous people that she'd ever known, that she just absolutely loved him to pieces. Elizabeth resides in Fayetteville, North Carolina with her husband, and she still loves for people to call her Lou Ann Poovey. She always gets a big smile on her face when that happens. There's not many of us that can say we knew television and Hollywood icons that included U.S. Marshal Matt Dillon, Festus Hagen, Dr. Kildare, Elliot Ness, Sheriff Andy Taylor, Deputy Barney Fife, Opie, and Private Gomer Pyle, or shared a romantic moment with Gene Hackman and Kirk Douglas. But the one person that can say that is Elizabeth McRae. Thank you so much, Elizabeth McRae, for your great characters you played throughout your career. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll continue to chase the classics.